around yet, and we have a fight weekend we've been waiting for. It's going to say Sal Foster to the ring. Again, this is our... What's up fight fans, welcome to my channel, this is Johnny, and in today's video I'm gonna tell you who to put all of your money on for tomorrow's world title fight at Junior Lightweight. The WBC strap is on the line. It's a rematch from a few months ago. The current belt holder, Hobson Kenseisau, is fighting once again with Shockey Foster. Guys, before I continue, I wanna say thank you to all the new subscribers. Thank you to everybody who's been with me since day one. If you haven't already, could you please hit the subscribe button as well as that notification button? What this will allow me to do, if you like the content that I create, every time I put something out that's new, you'll be the first to be notified. Thank you. Guys, earlier in the week, I released a video about the first time these guys fought when Oshaki Foster, in my opinion, got robbed. You guys could say it however you saw it, but I had Foster winning 10 rounds to two. The judges did not see the fight that I watched, and they gave the fight to Hobson Conceição. So Conceição is the world champion. The 36-year-old Brazilian Olympian has that belt, and Foster is upset, and he wants his belt back. In his eyes, he's the rightful owner. Now, in the video earlier in the week, I broke down the statistics. Could you imagine a guy takes the belt from the champion and only lands 11% of his total punches? That was Conceição. His pressure was good. He wanted to engage, but he couldn't hit him. And guys, the sport is boxing. It's not knockout. You know what I'm saying? So it's important when we look at these matchups and we talk about who's the better fighter, who's the better boxer, and who won the fight, we have to understand boxing is about footwork, angles, timing, speed, accuracy, and to hit and not get hit. And Conceição couldn't even touch Foster. So in this video, I'm telling you, I'm putting my whole wallet on. We know a few things about both fighters. We know that Conceição is gonna be the taller guy, five foot 10, Foster's five foot eight. But giving up those two inches, Foster still has the reach advantage by two inches. I like that regarding his game, regarding his fight style, he uses that reach advantage. Now, when we're talking about making adjustments, if I take a fighter, if I take any athlete at 36 years old, by the time you get to that age, you are a well-tuned oiled machine, meaning that it's tough to teach an old dog new tricks. With Kinsaysa at 36, he is what he is. He's a pressure forward fighter. In a few months, is he going to be able to make the adjustments to cut the ring off, tactically get ahead of Foster? I don't know, I, I just don't think so. With Foster, in his head, he feels he won every round. So with him, he just has to turn the volume up a bit. They did weigh in today. If you wanna look at the weigh-ins, I'm playing it right here. If you wanna look at the nonverbal communication in terms of how each fighter carries himself, if you follow my channel enough, this is something that I'm really into. My undergrad in college is in sports psychology, so I used to work with athletes, and nonverbal communication regarding performance is very important, especially when you have weight cuts. And Conceição is a big junior lightweight. Like I said, he's five foot 10, fighting at 130 pounds. I'm not saying he looks drawn out. I'm just saying that Foster, in my eyes, I like what I see more. I like what I saw Foster a few months ago, and I gave him that victory. Las Vegas has the champion Conceição as a five to one underdog. Once again, I feel further proving my point that the whole world saw one fight and the judges saw another fight. Now, when you want to bet on this fight, I told you who to win. I told you who I'm going for, and I'm telling you it's going to be Oshaki Foster. Is it going to be a decision? Is it going to be a knockout? It's tough. You know what I'm saying? Both guys really aren't technically knockout artists, and 130 pounds, having seen each other 12 rounds already before, the only thing I could predict is a Foster victory. I had him up 10-2, will he win every round? I think he's gonna stay in the pocket a bit more and try to sit down on his power shots. Will this prove to give him a knockout? I'm not quite sure. We have to remember, Conceição is a world champion. He does only have two losses to Valdez and Shakur Stevenson, and he is Olympian, meaning that he knows how to box, he knows how to survive, but does he have the skill set to beat Foster in 12 rounds? I don't think so. I'm putting it all in on Oshaki. I think we're going to hear and new two-time world champion at 130 pounds. And I wanna hear your opinion. You don't always have to agree with me. I appreciate it. If you don't, 
But if you take Kinsaysal, I do want to know how you think he's going to win, why you think I'm wrong. Leave all that in the comment section below.